Okay, so so we we hold in Simon Memalef. Veika kriyas as much of kriyat shema, kavua mitzvah. Mishash of kanim, shayut mei betavlu. They were tumidic and they traveled. She now was in the hold of tumor at Shariv Shimshon. The Allah is that a coin that was tumor and it's not allowed to eat tumor. But and but and once he is already traveled, you know, then he starts. But he's still not allowed to eat tumor until he has out of Shemesh, until the sun sets. And 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 Rabbi Yakimir Shechter said, Bashem his father, that the 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 uh, what what he said what's 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 the the possible shot the connection between Kriyatshma and and Aleph Shemesh yeah. is because it's known of the Kabbalah, he's saying why is saying Kriyatshma only in Chakras and Aris? You're not saying it by Mincha. The answer is that when you say Kiyat Shema in Shacharis, there is a Rishimu, there is an influence, an impact that lasts the whole day long. And when you say Kishma by night, it has an impact that lasts the whole night long. Same way, when the Kohen is Tumadik, even though he traveled already from his tumor, there's still left an imprint, a rishimu, an impact from the tumor until the end of the day. Once the day is over, it's a new day, then he can eat too. But that's the reason why they were like both tied in together. Like medicine. Yeah, it's, 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 like, like medicine. You already take it to the, you have to take it twice a day. Yeah, you know, something like that. Something like that. So it has to do <laughs> has to do with daylight. Yeah. They already they, they were tumidic and they toiled. They immersed themselves in a mikvah. Until the sun will set, the sun will set on that day. That's the beginning of the Laila Shal Achov, the Laila that comes next. As it is said in Vayikro, Vashemesh Vetohel, Vachar Yuchab in a kotchen. Let the sun set. You know, and then, you know, the day will be over. They will, you know, the Metzius will be pure from that day. Mm. And then he will eat from the Kotchum, from the Truma. And this is the Gemara and Rashi. This is what Chazal told us. And they alluded to us, Sheikra Mitzvah Krishma, where Muna Sarots, the main Mitzvah of Krishna, is the Muna in the Rotson, in the will that everything is going, everything is conducting. Everything that goes on in this world goes in precise accordance to the Rotson Hashem. Everything. And the, the main thing is to pull upon us, is to draw upon us this Heilige Emuna every single day Mechadosh. That's the reason every single day people go through different kind of trials and tribulations, as we said last night, to bring upon us the Emuna that everything goes according to the way Hashem Isbaruch wants it to go every single day Mechadosh. It's a new thing every day. And Kishma, he says, you know, he, he warns us on this, he alerts us to it more than any other time. That which I, I command you today, what is today? Every single day has to be brand new for you. Like that's it, today is the first time you got the Torah from Al Sinai. And, 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 and they waxed poetically about it. 
Shein Odom Sofen. It shouldn't be like old news for you. That you know they that it doesn't excite you anymore. Like, you know, that's today's newspaper. Everybody wants to see what's the headlines of today's newspaper. What happened in the newspaper three months ago? I don't know. You know. Who cares three months ago? But today, 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 do you know? Everybody is running to hear news. The whole thing with the, the thing with the with the mayor and the whole thing is because they want something new. They want something new. So right. you don't know the other guys better than this guy. You don't know, but it's new, change. Yeah, the name is change. We want change. What do you want? You want change? I want cash. I don't want change. I want bills. I want change. <laughs> you take the change. I want the bills. <laughs> You know, brand new things in the morning. The Yamuna is brand new in the morning. That's why they settled the bracha on the, the illuminating celestial bodies. Kodim Kishma before Kishma. In his kindness, he renews every single day. And all that, this this reinforcement of emona, umchinas kedusha as the kelim the kedusha, that's the 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 sanctity of the holy sages. Shemorsifim oy kedusha v'das b'chol yomayom that they add more uh, 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 das awareness and, and sanctity every single day. V'hem amshichem eores arotz and the chol amadreigus atachtoynes. With, by doing that, they draw down, they draw down the illumination of the Amun Asarotz to all the lowest rungs. To all, all those who falter anywhere in the world. And they elevate them from oblivion to favor. What they do is they infuse them with this illumination of the Ratzon, of the volition, that the, the world is run the way Kosh wants it. It is volition dependent. It's not, it's not rule dependent. It's not momentum dependent. It is totally, you know, rule dependent. It depends, I mean, it's, it's totally will dependent. It depends on the will of HaKadosh Baruch Hu for every single nanosecond there is. Nothing arbitrary, nothing is running on, on, on rails, nothing is, is, is on rut. And, and the Zekein and the Dusha, they bring, they, they infuse us with this Oisim but Bevada, even though the you know the the, the holy Zikelim that do should do what they do to illuminate the rats so to to elevate them, Afal Pichem, even so, I die in Yeshua called Echad Echad Bechira. Still, every person has Bechira. Kshemei Bo Arotzah when when the rats are Haba Melamal, everybody has a Bechira when you know when when the rats come the, the, when the, the rats shines upon him from above. I mean, yeah, they illuminate upon you, but it doesn't come into you, you know, without you accepting it. You have to accept it. You have to want it. You have to want it. You have to tie up your mind and your heart and your awareness to this Rotson. You know, yes, this is the way it is. She had to meet Kochu Koso, the Chisofa, the Tsoino Chazak. That all the time, your your desire and your longing and your pining and your will should always be very very strong only to the real true tachlis. Why do you live? What do you live for? And to add every single day more and more and more. To strengthen the rots and the kedusha. Today you're going to do the right the right thing. Ah, you know, there's a there's a famous story about the 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 um, 
The Chose of Lublin. Said it a few times already, like everything else. The Chose of Lublin said every night before he went to sleep, he says, Tomorrow, trust me, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to be a good boy. I'm going to be good. And then he'd say, ah. But yesterday I said the same thing about today. It's, it's true, but today I, I really mean it. I said, ah, but yesterday I also said that I really meant it. Yeah, yeah, but today I really, really, really mean it. That's the way it has to be every single day. Today I mean it. Ah, what happened yesterday? Ah, but yesterday, it's yesterday. Now you fell a thousand times. And you said, so start again, another time. He's chazeg berotzen the kedusha bechol pam v'cham b'vam yosef v'yosef. V'afim over alav masha over it. No matter what transpires in the meantime. What kind of balagan you get into in the meantime? Avo b'chena li rapes arotzen mishum of Hashem ba'olam. Don't let go of that desire, no matter what. Kavu ze b'mil b'ichas orev uvamokam arachin the way. In different halachas and kut halachas, va'ikir shetzorich l'amin. The main thing is you need to believe that b'chol yoy v'yoy na'asim chadoshes legamre. Every single day, new things transpire. They're brand new headlines. Va'ketzrin l'amtin v'l'amtin ad yigay yom yishuasli. Person needs to wait and wait and wait until the day of his deliverance will come. K'ashem isboch masmech yishuas b'chol yam. God isboch who. You know, you know, vaccines. He, he he grows Yeshua's every single day. Because we cast Krishna bechol yom. We send Krishna every single day. Oyse chadoshos, but smiach Yeshua's. Kadosh Baruch Hu does new things every day. He the Yeshua's that growing out of that cropping up like like like. Rav Afa pichet tzich lamtina be al shetitzmach vetizgoli Yeshua also mishlimu mishlemes. This is this is still you have to wait a lot. Until your Yeshua will come up, Bishlemus. Reb Simcha keeps on drilling this into me. That this is this is the be all and end all of holding yourself in the void of Hashem. The secret word is wait. Is waiting. That's the meaning of Amuna. Amuna means waiting. You know, uh, I think uh, 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 um, a poor person, I mean, uh, no, a farmer, that sows the field, okay? He doesn't even know if it's going to rain, right? He takes his precious grain and he sows the field, and then maybe there'll be rain, maybe there won't be rain. It will grow, maybe there will be pests, maybe there won't be pests. And his eyes are up to Kodesh Baruch Hu. That's why Chazal said that, that Emuna, the Sedoz Rhyme, the, the Mishnah, you know, the six times, Sedoz Rhyme, is Emuna, the Sedoz Rhyme, Kedusha, the Sedoz Rhyme, Kedusha, the Sedoz Rhyme, Emuna, the Sedoz Rhyme, because when you saw the field, your eyes are up to Kodesh Baruch Hu, you, you just trust it, you believe, you don't, you know, there's nothing else, there's nothing else, nothing else there. Main thing, the main thing in the whole thing is to wait, to wait, to wait, to wait, to wait, and and give thanks to Kadosh Baruch Hu for what is being right now and for the waiting, for the opportunity to wait, for the opportunity to believe in Him, and just wait, because Yeshua bevadai botavai. Chol ze ram zanotar akdoshu bedine taras atmei. The Torah, Kedusha, alluded to all this in the dinim of those that are tumidic, that are defiled, how they become pure. Shirov taroson tole beyomim. Their purity almost always is time dependent. It depends on, on time. Beyomim is man kfi erech tumason. You know, according to, to the, to the love commensurate day tuma. Kigon, atmei meyoyser, those that are the most defiled, the most tomedic. Kimo, tomemes, somebody who was, was touched dead body. 
v'zav u'metzayor. And somebody that, 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 that has, you know, the, the, the tumor of emissions and, and the leprosy. Tzrichim antin shivayami, they have to wait seven days. In other words, seven full days they have to wait. Somebody, you know, that, that, that has, has an accident, you know, has to wait for, for a day until the sun is going to set. Then the new day will become, you will come. This is all a manifestation of that principle. Every single day is a brand new reality. That person... Yeah. That was the father of Zelito, and he wants to purify. So he tefila b'mikra. He has to toivel in the mikra. Kedel hamshich olav kedusha v'taro b'mikra elyonu. Not to draw upon himself holiness and purity from the supernal mikra. Shu a mikra shel shavuos. That's the mikra of shavuos of the fiftieth gate of Shara Hamishim, of that dala deicha, that chupchik, the end of the dala. That's the mikveh of Shavuos. Shua mikveh of Shavuos, the mikveh of Shavuos, the mikveh of Shavuos, as it says in the meditations of Arizal, and the day of the day of the day, this is a simon and vav, I am sham. This is the source of purity to all those who travel the mikveh, the Torah of the Torah, you know, to purify from the Torah. And after they already became pure through the Heilige Mikveh, that are still not finished. There's still the residue, there's still the Rishimu, there's still the influence from before. Until the sun of this day will set. And let the day after begin. Let the sun set, then he will become pure. And then he can eat from conscience. In order to, 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 to show that the drawing upon oneself of purity and sanctity has to do with time, has to do with days. That whenever it is that a new day comes, it's the only reason why HaKadosh Baruch Hu sustains the world yeah. from the six days of creation all the way to the end of time. And every time He creates day and night. He calls every single day of, of creation is a brand new creation. Every single day is brand new creation. This day has never existed. The reason it says that the, the, the changes, that the spiritual changes that happen in the inner machinations of the world, every day is brand new. It is, not, it is never the same. Never the same twice. Each and every one of us has to pay attention to this. To say thank you to Kodesh Baruch on this every single day, every single day. And in his kindness, every single day, he renews my separations. But Lev Shalom Bechalyan, in a complete heart, in a complete heart, in a complete awareness and attention to what you're actually saying every single day. And the many schatches every single day. The thing that we do when we renew ourselves and we're doing this effort, sometimes we succeed, sometimes we don't succeed, you know, but it doesn't matter. The way, the fact that we like, you know, we are awake ourselves, you know, we awake ourselves up and we like, you know, Try to crank our engines, our Ramuna engines, every single day, is only to awaken us every single day to awake with new returns, with new cravings, new desires. Okay, but that's the reason why time had already traveled. 
התחיל ליטר, and he started to purify himself, and he's not allowed to eat in Truma עד שיהיה רבשים שונים, until the sun will set, ויבוא היום של האחרון, and the day, and the day, the next day will, will arrive, כי כפי Truma עשוי, because according to the Truma that, 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 that he defiled himself, even though he already started purifying himself, and he already told him the mikveh, he's still not leaving a tumor perfectly until you start on, on, on a new day, you know, on the, the day afterwards, then it will be a completely new day, a new kedusha, and Ritzoyinus Kedoshim Chadoshim, brand new desires and, and yearning to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Ba'az, ba'az da'i k'etel l'chon l'kotshim. This is the only, only then you are, you are taught to eat from Kotshim. He says, V'zeh so the Sphere, that's, that's, the, that's the mystery of Sphere Sa'imra, of counting of the Oymer. Shitzrochim, Shitzrichim Yisrael Yispor Sheva Shabbos, that I'm so I need to count seven Shabbos. The very same way that the Nida has to count seven days to tar, to be tar, in order to, 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 to purify from the Tumor. As it is said, as it is explained in, in the Zohar Kodesh, in the, in the scriptures of, of Arizal, it is impossible for one to purify oneself perfectly until you deserve the Kabbalah Satara. And, and, and you, you cannot completely you know, sanctify yourself to the point that you get to Torah. Until you wait and you count seven Shabbos. And the main thing is to strengthen yourself in all those days that you still haven't reached the Shlemus. It's Shema Zorich Adai the Shlemus. You're still not Zorich the Shlemus Tarosa. You still did not purify yourself. You still said every single week, I'm still doing the same Shtusim. I'm still going the same thing. I started and I failed. And I started and I failed. And then one day, yes, and seven days, no. And then one, I'm doing this, and then a month, I'm not doing And the Chula, the Chula, the Chula. Shuub Chinez Kabbalah Satur. Lishazik ve Bechol, Yoim ve Yom, every single day to renew with you in yourself the desire. Retsoinus Chadoshim Chazokim. Strong retsoinus. The Chazak was in Oid Meoid. We have to be strong in it, very, very strong in it every single day. Bechol Mashiavola. No matter what happens, no matter what transpires upon you. Ad Shizkel Yoshua, sorry, until Yazachet Yeshua. And it'll come, don't worry, it'll come. This is total purity. You can eat from the kotshim. You should really contemplate this deeply and, and internalize it. That's why Chazal, you know, made dependent the time of saying the Kriyat Shema from the time the Quran that Watumadik are allowed to eat from the Truma after Ar of Shemesh and after the sun has settled. This alludes to the fact that every single day you have to draw upon yourself the emunah sarotz and the chadash. You know, a totally emuna, the a totally new emuna that today zayom asa Hashem megiyos and chavoy. If you realize that zayom asa Hashem, the Beit Shlom Meshik told me this many years ago, zayom asa Hashem. If you remember that this day, it may look like, you know, a picture by Picasso, you know, with the nose on the ear. <laughs> but Zayom Asa Hashem, the Gears of Chavos, you already, you, if you really realize it, then you'll rejoice. You'll be totally happy. Every single day brings about brand new things which you don't have a clue what it's going to be. This, on this depends all your purity and all your sanctity. All your kedusha depends on that. All this constitutes the union of Kiyat Shema. That I order you, that I command you, 
today. Bechol yom v'yoyim yu b'necho k'chadoshim. Up to now, good Allah has for today.